Mechanism of Interaction of Ethidium Bromide with DNA Ethidium bromide is an intercalating agent, widely used in molecular biology labs as a fluorescent dye, for nucleic acid gel electrophoresis. Ethidium bromide is very sensitive in detecting DNA bands on gel. Structure of Ethidium bromide Ethidium bromide contains a tricyclic phenanthridine ring system that is able to interact with stacked base pairs of double-stranded DNA. Mechanism of interaction of ethidium bromide with DNA Ethidium is capable of forming close van der Waals contacts with the base pairs, and due to that it can bind to the hydrophobic interior of the DNA molecule. The peripheral phenyl and ethyl groups projects into the major groove of DNA helix. Ethidium bromide can bind to helical regions formed by intrastrand base pairing in RNA, and in heat denatured or single-stranded DNA. The fluorescent yield of DNA ethidium bromide dye complex is many folds higher than the free dye, so it is advantageous in visualizing the DNA on gels. Approximately one ethidium bromide molecule will get intercalated per 2.5 base pairs, there will be a 20-fold increase in the fluorescence when intercalated. Absorption maxima of ethidium bromide is in the UV range, upon excitation ethidium bromide emits orange light with a wavelength of 605 nanometer. Small amounts of DNA, approximately 10 nanogram can be detected using ethidium bromide staining. Ethidium bromide stock solutions are prepared at a concentration of 0.25 to 1.0 microgram per milliliter for gel staining. Safer alternatives to ethidium bromide. Ethidium bromide is considered as a potent mutagen, it is called as intercalating agent. Since it can intercalate into the DNA and can interfere with DNA replication and transcription. There are still controversies regarding the toxicity of ethidium bromide. Even then some researchers prefer to use ethidium bromide for nucleic acid staining. But there are some safer alternatives to ethidium bromide, here are the commercially available safer dyes. SYBR safe, gel red.